Hello, I am finally back with a new video. First off, Happy New Year to everybody. But I wanted to share with you uh, the planners and uh, journals that I'll be using for 2017. So let's start off with, I'm not going to go through too much with the Traveler's Notebooks because they really haven't changed. There's a couple new things in my personal size, but like for this, this is my wallet and it is the pocket size Outlander in Jitney Red. And so this really hasn't changed. Still keep my credit cards there, driver's license. Uh, still have my daily to-do booklet here in the front. Just some washi tape in here. This booklet is my online purchase insert, which came in very handy for Christmas. It got used quite a bit. But then there's a pouch. This pocket for important receipts. This is my credit card uh, insert. Also holds uh, expense booklet. And then the folder in the back. And also this insert, which is just a notes, just for different notes when I'm out. So that is the wallet that I'm still using. Then my pocket, or sorry, not pocket, personal size. Outlander in Jitney Red is my actual planner. So still the same things as far as the calendar in the front. This is the two year, but I'm about to switch that out because I bought a new one that has sort of bigger space to write in. So I'll be switching that out. Um, another sleeve that holds pictures of my family. And so this is new. I started a subscription with Coco Daisy for their monthly kits, and this is the personal size, I think it's Daisy Dory kit. And I also get the planner add-on. So the first one, oops, I took out too many. So the booklet here, you get, it comes with just plain craft paper cover, and I covered it with some of the paper that they sent me. So if you're not familiar, what you get is uh, you sign up. They have subscriptions for ring-bound planners and then the uh, traveler size notebook size. So you can get the standard. They have the personal size. And then they also have the new size, which is the passport size or pocket size. So you get this kit that comes every month. And I was going to do an unboxing, but December was just too crazy, and I didn't have time to do any videos whatsoever, so, and I wanted to get my January booklet set up, so I just said, forget it, <laughs> I'm going to get into it. But just to show you what, some of the things that you get, there's like washi tape, you get one with the um, subscription kit, and then the planner add-on kit was another washi tape. I can't remember which came in which, but, so there was two tapes. You got acetate, there was this piece, and then the, also this piece that's on the cover. There was some puffy stickers. There was a notepad, some stamps. And so sorry for the glare too, it is a rainy day outside, so I have to have my light above turned on. There is another sticky note in a circle pattern with some snowflakes on it. Got two different planner clips. One is a snow hat and then a snowflake. I also had a bunch of little die cuts, just different things. I love this one drink tea, read books, be happy. That's my favorite. And there was some journaling cards. There's this charm that you could hang on your notebook. And then a lot of stickers which I have already used, as you can see. There, there was also two paper clips, this pink one, and then there was a blue one. And then you got four sheets of paper, which I used one to cover the notebook. They're double-sided. And then it came in this cute little bag to hold it all. Also, everything was in these glassine bags, but I took it out so it wouldn't be so crinkly when I was showing you. So that was the kit that I received. So back to the booklet, I covered it with the paper and acetate, added a little puffy sticker down here. And then I also used 
some tabs here at the top. So we got Hello January, Meal Planning, Notes, January Goals, and Happy Thoughts. So I already started, well, of course I've already started filling it out. This is this week, so I've got all our stuff in here. And then I've done some planning for next week. And we got menu plans, which I write down what we're having each week. And then there's space for some notes. My husband wants to keep track of how much we eat out in a month. So I've started that. So like on the first we had Taco Bell. So that's on there. And then I've got some goals here. I want to clean my craft room closet, our bedroom closet, the pantry, and I want to read the Bible every day. My goal is to read, it's to do it in a year. So I have all the different um, things that you're supposed to read each day to help you reach that goal. And then I just write down a little quote or something that I read in the passage. And so that goes all the way through. And then there's some more room for notes. And that's the back. So I really like having it broken down into months now so it'll be nice and then I can change it out each month as well and I'm really excited for February's kit because it's really cute it has a bunny named Simon and he's so cute so can't wait to get that so that is pretty much all that's changed in this book um, there's still a pouch with my stickers in it this here is my Shows I want to watch, movies to see, uh, books to read, and just different recipes, things I find. And then finally my poetry book here in the back. I did have a journal in here, but I took that out because I'm going to be doing something different this year for my journal. And then my folder in the back with just some stuff in it. And that's that. So, and that is my planner. Did I already say that? That I will be using for the year. So finally, I purchased the Daphne's Dyer 2017. This is actually a planner, but I'm going to use it as a journal. So it's set up to where it has the Monday through Sunday. And then you get this extra piece here in the center, which is nice. So let's go back up here to the front. Got a, it's got some pockets too in the front and back to keep things in right there uh, and then I also some of the pages I haven't been crazy about so I've been covering them with other things so like this was a Christmas card that I covered this page up with but here's what I'm talking about as far as journaling so I journal every day put some stickers on there some washi tape and then for the center Paper. I've been using that to put different pictures and just little different things that I have. Like last week I drank a lot of this chai tea so I put the little tag here. Uh, my daughter and I went shopping so and I bought some hand lotion so I put the tag there and then there's a picture of some of my favorite gifts that I got this year and then Carson and I had McDonald's one day and then on the back here we went to Dick's to return some stuff that Carson got and he bought a bunch of Manchester United jerseys and a new soccer ball. Um, I ordered a new William Wallace Braveheart, one of those pop figures. Let's see where is it at? One of these things. <laughs> so I just put the tag there and then journaled some more down at the bottom and then journaled all on this side. So, and that's working out really well. I really like that because I feel like I don't have to write too much. It's just enough space to get down what I need to talk about and that's it. So I'm also using the washi tape to cover up down at the bottom because it has this menu down here. So I just cover it with the washi tape and that works out really good. So that is my diary slash journal for the year. And I'm pretty excited to start filling that up. 
And then the last thing I have to share with you as far as planner things, <coughs> excuse me, I ordered this little pouch off of Amazon. It was an add-on item, so it was like $4 to add it. But my planner go. To give you a size comparison, it's pretty big. There's the size of it next to my personal size. And here is where I keep all my planner supplies. So I have my pencil, my mechanical pencil, my um, fountain pen. There's some <clears throat> sticky notes in here, some other stickers, uh, some littler stickers. These are sticky tabs, the Hobonichi brand. And then in this pocket, I have some more stickers. And then on this side, I have all my highlighters because each one in my family has a certain color, so they're color-coded in my planner. More stickers here on the side, some lead for my pencil, a corrector pen, and then this is one of those Target gel highlighters. And then finally on the back in this little pouch is where I keep my stencils. So that is how I will be planning and journaling for 2017. And I'm actually quite surprised that I haven't bought another planner. I've, I've gone a pretty long time with this. I'm really happy with using this as a planner. So I don't think I'm going to change. So anyway, I have a couple more videos I'm hoping to get up. Um, like I said, December was so crazy. So I'm trying to get caught back up. Uh, but anyway, I hope you all have a great week and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.